Coin games are meant to be played by four players, and that's especially true of Andy and Abyss, the first game in the series. I played a really wild game on Rally the Troops, and I thought I'd walk you through it here today on Legendary Tactics. So I'm going to take you through this game of uh, Andy and Abyss that I had the good fortune to play a four-player game of on Rally the Troops. And uh, I am the FARC uh, in this situation, so we have the standard setup. I'm going to, to try and zoom out as best I can here uh, to show you the full, uh, full picture. I know this might be a bit microscopic, but <laughs> I'll zoom in where necessary. So uh, anyway, so just as a, as a uh, observer here, the AUC was up first and uh, took um, the event to play some sabotage um, next to the pipelines. Uh, for the um, the three value pipelines there, which is quite a quite a powerful uh, and uh, aggressive move this early on, <laughs> but that uh, was the the best move. Cartels are uh, are up next, and uh, they uh, essentially did a a rally um, all the way around. Um, you can see um, getting into the cities as well, which I think. A smart cartels player will do. Um, there's a few um, bases and so forth, but uh, um, and also placing shipments with the um, with the larger cartel force in Kali there. So um, overall, a, a very good uh, very good idea, very good move um, for the uh, cartels. Next up was the National Se Defense and Security uh, Council. Um, I think this is. Uh, in many cases, especially early in the game, um, I think this is pretty much a must take for the government. And uh, that's uh, exactly what they do. It's a powerful capability. It helps speed up the whole process of uh, getting uh, control and police and troops into uh, departments to uh, start the civic action process. And so um, I was up next and essentially just <laughs> rallied uh, all across the board here, you can see, um, and uh, doing extorting as well to recoup um, a lot of those resources. So um, again, my, my goal here is to get as many bases down. Very typical of the um, FARC uh, in this game is doing a lot of rallying early on um, because uh, it's just what you need to do um, to get all your forces on the board, all your bases down, and then you can start uh, really having some fun. So on the next card, uh, the um, or sorry, on, on this card actually, the the uh, uh, cartels did a limited rally, I guess, just trying to um, prevent um, removal of insurgent pieces, which include bases, and uh, uh, so that's a dangerous event to have happen. Um, but obviously, the event wasn't um, valuable enough uh, to them to actually take the uh, the event there. And so just did a limited rally um, in uh, Kali to place a base there. And uh, the AUC did a limited rally um, and rallied just in uh, Huila, uh, which is probably a great idea. I'm going to zoom in here. It's probably a good idea while the while uh, Huila uh, um, is uh, neutral to be to get um, the gorillas in there. The gorillas in there are really valuable, obviously, for assassination purposes. Um, they can really offset the FARC uh, bases, and and in general, it it can be a potential kind of win condition uh, for the AUC. They can do some assassination right before a prop card and win the games. But the tough part is getting into those areas because without um, if they're at opposition, you can't rally there, and it can be pretty tough to march in because there's typically a lot of uh, FARC guerrillas uh, around, and so you kind of have to just work with what uh, with what you got. Um, next up uh, for this uh, for this we got uh, crop sub substitution. So in this case, I took terror and uh, did a, a whole bunch of uh, of damage here. I'm gonna try and rewind my my move here a little bit here. Oh, it's going to make me do the whole thing. Okay. So I did a, a, a whole bunch of, uh, of terror to get the, uh, opposition down. Uh, it put me actually at this, at zero. It put me within, within very close range of, uh, actually, 
uh, winning the game on the first prop card. The uh, you know the the scores at the moment, if you if you can't see them well, is government are negative six, FARC at zero, AUC at minus five, and cartels at minus forty, because obviously they have a ways to go with their resources being at zero. Um, so I did that uh, that terror, and that uh, flipped a lot of the uh, a lot of the countryside to to my uh, to my way of uh, seeing things. I've still got strong resources, so I'm in reasonably good shape uh, that way. Now the government uh, reacted with a limited train. They trained in uh, Kali there to uh, get some reinforcements there, and they were able to uh, do some uh, some civic action as well to get that to active support, uh, which is going to be um, helpful in keeping, uh, you know, in, in <laughs> insurgent factions like me out. Um, next up was criminal air force. And this was one that the AUC took for uh, the rally. And so they rallied uh, in a bunch of different spaces, Santander, uh, Atlantico, um, Pasto, Neva. So they're, you know, basically uh, getting into the cities, which to be honest, I don't find as being a great move for the AUC. Um, the AUC's job really is is to be out in the jungles with the FARC and not so much competing with the government, in my experience, unless the government is uh, close to winning or something like that. But there's usually other targets other than cities. Um, and uh, and rallying in the jungles, Vichada, Guyana, yeah, sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong, uh, Guyana, Gana, Guyania, and so forth, Valpez, um, is kind of a bit of a waste of resources. Sure, you can you can extort to get that resource back, but then you got to move them. And if those jungles tend to be um, empt, kept empty for a reason, the cartels can't really uh, do a lot of cultivation there, just simply because uh, it gives the opportunity opportunity to the government to uh, do. Um, their special activity, um, the uh, not, not extermination, I'm trying to remember <laughs> just offhand. But anyway, the, to spray the fields, basically. And uh, typically it's a very potentially very limited negative consequence to them uh, to do that, because uh, a lot of times these territories are surrounded by active opposition. And so really it's at the cost of placing a FARC guerrilla in the middle of nowhere and they get aid and they get to... Um, beat back the the cartels in the process. So not a big fan of this move for the AUC, but um, maybe they're working some sort of uh, plan that I, I do not uh, comprehend. Um, now, um, next up is the cartels, and then they've, the government's uh, up for Blackhawks, which is kind of interesting. So the cartels ended up just passing, and Blackhawks, uh, of course, the, the government uh, took that, uh, opportunity and AUC rallies again. I'll just zoom in and scan down so you can see. So there's a, uh, an open base placed in Atlantico, Atlantico and Magda, Magdalena. And uh, that's a pretty safe move. I mean, sometimes the government will airstrike the AUC, but it's not necessary. There's usually better targets uh, than that. So it's usually fine. Um, and uh, they, basically just a rally and, ex, and extort, nothing too uh, interesting. It's interesting how they're going very much all in on uh, Vichada. Um, the the Santander uh, base here might be a bit of a problem just because the government may be inclined to assault uh, my FARC guerrilla and in the process take out, you know, that base while, it, while they're at it. So not a, not a big fan of that, but... Um, but that's fine. I'm not sure why um, there's also a lot of rallying up in the north, northern cities. Um, to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but um, I'm not sure what uh, the, the plan was there. So after the AUC rally, <clears throat> the uh, I decided to pass in favor of getting the shaded event uh, for uh, Betancourt here and uh, putting myself actually in winning position before the first prop card. And this is very typical. The FARC needs an early win, typically. The cartels take a while to get going. The government takes a while to get going. And to some extent, the AUC does as well. Although the AUC, I would say, you know, they're a bit faster getting up to speed if they have the resources. Um, but, um, but anyway, just uh, taking that uh, opportunity to flip uh, Cesar 
uh, Antioquia and uh, Huila to uh, active opposition. So it was a perfect, perfect uh, event to have. And uh, just to recap the scores here, the government's still at negative six. I'm at five over. Uh, AUC at minus three and the cartels at minus 37. So overall, I don't feel too uh, too bad here. I just need a, a prop card to come up and uh, we're in good shape. Um, so the follow-up though uh, to this was that uh, the cartels um, did some rallying, um, placed a base in Santa Marta and uh, in Huila as well. So uh, Santa Marta being up north here, got another base down and in uh, in uh, uh, Huila, uh, did the rally there and um, spent a shipment to do limited terror and to take me down. I guess this is uh, just to try and uh, get me down to below my victory conditions. So it was a, a good move for me in the sense that I also got the cartels, uh, cartels to use up a valuable shipment uh, to come after me. Um, but there's definitely going to be some uh, some piling on here as they try and take me take me down before a prop card uh, comes up. So um, next up we have Mancuso, um, which is a uh, an interesting event. The AUC certainly doesn't want this to happen, um, and uh, so the the AUC took the shaded event, um, which is. Uh, um, adding resources for each space where there's a mix of uh, AUC and cartels uh, pieces. And that actually worked out really well. 12 resources for the AUC. They're rolling in it. <laughs> That's pretty good. And the government uh, responded by uh, training and, uh, and uh, doing er eradicate. That was the word I was looking for earlier. So eradicated in uh, Putamayo. So um, followed up with getting all their troops on the board. I'm a big fan of a very early full rally for the government. Get all your pieces out there. They'll get whittled away slowly over time. But if you do a massive, you know, giant rally at the early on, earliest opportunity, then all your pieces are out there. You can always do a limited rally later to add the six back that have been taken off the board. But you want to be working with your full uh, capabilities as soon as possible. Um, so uh, yeah, so the government did the full uh, full train, and uh, in um, Putamayo down here, uh, in the in the south, uh, did an eradicate, got some aid, and removed a couple of uh, cartels bases. Although it did add uh, Huila <laughs> flipped back to active opposition, which uh, I'm sure the the cartels player was very pleased to see. Um, I'm certainly pleased to see it, but. I don't think that was the uh, the point. <laughs> so anyway, next up is uh, um, we had the uh, the uh, um, sequestrados. Uh, so I took the the event to or sorry, the uh, sorry, that was the uh, the last card here or sorry. Yes, this is the one. So shift two spaces from neutral to passive opposition or passive opposition to um, uh, passive support. I didn't want to do that. So I took the 12 resources again, just to make sure that I'm in really, really good shape. And if you just to zoom in very quickly here, um, you look at the government resources at four cartels at three, there's really not a lot standing in my way. Uh, the AUC being the only troublemakers and I'm back up to five, uh, here. So, um, so anyway, I took the resources and, uh, the cartels rallied and uh, they just processed their, uh, uh, they processed to remove some bases to get some more resources and, uh, you know, just rallied uh, kind of in all, all over the place, basically trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to offset uh, my uh, active opposition uh, in a lot of cases. So there's rallying in uh, some spots which aren't uh, typically used for, uh, for rallying like Antioquia and stuff. Um, Okay, so anyway, then 7th uh, uh, Special Forces came up and the government um, did that, uh, took that uh, opportunity to sweep and to sweep um, into uh, Huila basically to activate my giant uh, FARC army there. <laughs> and, uh, and so it's kind of interesting, didn't take the, the special activity uh, I guess just because I uh, didn't want the 7th Special Forces to uh, to trigger. Now, given the situation, the government has to do something to counteract me. But 
to be honest, Seventh Special Forces, Plan Meteoro, um, Meteoro, uh, to be honest, I, I don't typically take either of those uh, capabilities. I just, uh, I don't find that they're worth the turn that it takes to to take them. If I had to choose, um, I don't know, they're about equal in some ways, but I would, I would probably take Seventh Special Forces just because it can um, add to... Um, you know, it can just kind of take care of the sabotage and it more, it just kind of discourages the, uh, the insurgents from doing sabotage on the, on the LOCs. So for me, that would be a better event, but I could, I could also see, uh, people argue for plan meteoro, meteoro as well and, and so forth. So, so we're going to, um, skip forward. So the, the AUC just did a limited rally in, uh, in, interestingly in, uh, um, Cartagena. Um, so, you know, interesting kind of setup here. Um, but uh, I don't know, it's it's a it's kind of a, a weird setup. I mean, really, by all rights, I should be uh, winning this game within the next card or two. Um, because, uh, again, building a base in Cartagena or whatever, uh, you know, I guess is okay. Um, but given the fact that I'm, I've, I'm at six bases, I've still got three more to place. If I get any more opportunity, I'll be placing those three bases and pushing myself well over the victory conditions. Um, so anyway, it's a maybe maybe not the best move, but maybe the only one that was available. Um, no, I'll rewind that actually, just so you can see the big picture. And we have the... Uh, Cartels doing terror in uh, Putamayo and uh, Antioquia. And that obviously made sense um, to try and bring down my... It seems like the cartels are doing all the heavy lifting in this uh, particular uh, situation. The government and the AUC are kind of just minding their own business to some degree. Although the government did sweep in a couple of places, I guess. But um, but anyway, uh, so the, the cartels are doing all, the, all that they can to keep the game going. And... Uh, you know, good on them. That was, uh, given even limited resources, uh, they were able to do that. <clears throat> and then finally the prop card comes. Now, um, unfortunately, um, so I, t I passed on Plan Meteoro, but uh, unfortunately with uh, Ayahuasca Tourism, uh, the AUC was able to terror and, oh my gosh, this was, uh, this was exactly the right timing, the right everything. Um, so terror, terror in uh, Arauca, Gua, Gua, Guaviare, Putamayo, Arauca, uh, and all basically everything, everywhere that uh, they needed to in order to uh, block me from uh, from winning. And they actually came to zero. They came to ma almost win the game on that. Surprisingly. Um, so it really was not a, a good, uh, a good thing. I think that uh, the AUC had to, um, you know, they, they, they did what they, they could, they assassinated three bases and they did the terror they needed to do. Um, and, uh, they, in order to, to stop the game from winning. Now, I think I may have had an opportunity to win here. Um, but, um, I was, I was being told that in the comments, but really, um, there wasn't a, a lot of uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunity. The the uh, um, if, when I look at the event that I could take, if action executes free terror with any one gorilla in each forest, uh, the the reality is I only had these two spots, uh, Guaviare and Putamayo, that were not that were not at active opposition, um, where I had gorillas. So there wasn't. I don't, I don't know, I, I, unless I'm missing it, if you see it, let me know. But I don't think there was really the opportunity for me to, um, to, to win here. And uh, even though I was being told that it was basically game over in the comments, uh, because I only had a limited operation or the event, and I just don't see how I could have won. But anyway, um, <laughs> so um, I felt like I may have messed up here. But anyway, I just uh, ended up just taking the... Um, the rally and I placed a base in um, Meta East, knowing full well that the uh, that the uh, government would be more or less retreating, and that they would uh, 
you know, I could use that base to just certainly keep the edge on uh, the AUC. So uh, the propaganda phase uh, came up. We were all, at, well, actually the government at negative four, the FARC at negative two, uh, and the AUC at negative one. There was a lot of people very close to winning in the very first propaganda card. Um, there was no sabotage. The government got 21 resources. Uh, the FARC got five, AUC got four, and the cartels got 12. So uh, with that, the government then did an interesting move here. Um, which I completely disagree with, uh, but I'll show you from the, the from the large scale here. So basically, spend all their resources on civic action. Uh, Huila moved to uh, active support, Meta East to uh, neutral, and it basically costs them all of their resources. They only have one resource going into the next prop card, which could be a long, long time. Um, and just to get uh, Huila to, um, you know, to active support, I don't know. I mean, it certainly hurts me, but surely there was some other spots or just even just saving those resources, do a civic action later. I don't know. It just seemed to me to be, uh, to put the government in a really, really rough spot early on. And uh, so uh, anyway, so that, that led to that. Um, I did uh, the agitation that I was able to do, which wasn't a ton, if I recall. So I got to do um, uh, Guaviare to active opposition and Arauca to op active opposition. So uh, those really were, you know, a, a little bit of a, of a help, but nothing, um, you know, these are, are smaller population areas. Um, <clears throat> um, Arauca being here and... Uh, Guaviari being there. So kind of just bumped myself up a little bit. Um, you know, I'm now negative six uh, on the um, on the uh, uh, victory point track. The AUC is actually the one to beat and the government actually is at zero, but that's only temporary. Uh, obviously, with one resource going into the next campaign, I don't know why that would be a good idea. Um, I guess in the in the news, um, Pastrana has been elected uh as uh, as el presidente presidente and uh so the FARC zone is placed in meta west um which is fine i mean you got to place it somewhere you know might as well place it in a spot where it is uh <laughs> where it's less likely to i mean the FARC are always going to be in meta west anyway um so there's no no real uh, you know problem with that um, I find FARC zones to be more or less ineffective. I know they reflect the history, but uh, to be honest, they don't they don't have a tremendous uh, impact on gameplay in my experience. So um, we start out with the and then the elite backing. Um, the AUC places a, a base in the uh, in Vichada and the essentially the far highlands um, and uh, getting set up, I guess, to uh, they <laughs> to be next in the. Uh, for the, uh, in, in line for the victory. Um, but I would say it's a little bit early yet. So with the government redeploying, and uh, again, this is where that capability comes in so handy because leaving behind the, the police in those regions um, just allows a sweep and then a p potential civic action later. And it's just so valuable. Um, even if the police are not that useful as a, as a fighting force in those areas, again, it's all about that uh, civic action for the government. They need to get police into their, um, into the departments and uh, then that gives them at least the ability to potentially move in and, and conduct some sort of um, civic action. So um, the retreat there left, uh, it was very interesting. The retreat mostly went to the Santander um, Boyaca base, which was kind of interesting as, as well as Santa Marta, way, way the heck up north. I'm not sure exactly why, uh, that was needed up there, but whatever. Um, riverines and fast boats begins the second, uh, part of the campaign. The cartels, uh, rally, um, around and, uh, do some more processing. I'll just scan down, uh, here. So you can see they're well entrenched in the cities and the cities are just, if once they get in the cities, they're like cockroaches. They just, they are so hard to get rid of once they're there. If they're in the jungles, you can eradicate, you can do all sorts of things. Uh, they tend to get, uh, 
sometimes attacked by other factions. But as the government, keeping the cartels out of the city is such a big priority. Oh my gosh. Um, so that was uh, the, the cartel's uh, turn. Um, the AUC passes and uh, the government passes because the government can't do anything else. And so um, the um, re I basically um, took the opportunity to uh, to uh, take the event and I moved the the FARC guerrilla from uh, Antioquia to Guaviare and uh, um, and then essentially did a, a free terror in Antioquia to move everything to active opposition. So, um, so that was a good thing. Again, it keeps that in Antioquia is typically where the AUC build up their bases and their army. So if I can keep that at active opposition, that kind of makes them have to spread out, makes them have to, they can't get, you know, the, the big rallies that they, that they might need to get their forces up. Um, and, uh, so that was, and it also helps me out. I'm now at minus four in the victory point, uh, race. Um, so that was the, um, the riverines and fast boats. Now we have the uh, Pinto and Del Rosario, um, which, uh, again is a kind of a very situational event. Um, it might be useful for the AUC in some circumstances, but kind of needs to, you know, in this case, they did take the, um, the shaded event, but placing the, uh, the two, uh, gorillas in, uh, in the city of Cucuta, I mean, it's, it's fine, but, um, I don't know. I just find it very situational. Um, did a, you know, did a terror, um, hurt, uh, hurt aid, of course, which <laughs> the government isn't going to like. And, uh, so again, I mean, it's, it's fine, um, to, uh, to do that, but it's not, uh, potentially the best event, I don't think, um, for the, for the AUC. Anyway, <clears throat> the government passes. And so that uh, now the government's up to seven resources. So finally able to do some stuff, um, with Lim Limpieza, I took the, the event and, uh, um, mainly to, uh, hit uh, Santander and get rid of that base. And I love just mucking with the government in Santander because uh, it's the, typically the only base that the government has, you know, throughout the game. And uh, they may build other ones, but uh, typically Santander is kind of their useful base for um, various, uh, you know, for uh, keeping troops nearby, nearby and so forth instead of in the cities all the time. And uh, so eliminating that base uh, means that those troops have to leave <laughs> if they don't get another base down. Um, it also placed a, a terror in Santander, keeps the AUC from rallying there. So I just figured it was a, uh, it was a good uh, opportunity. It also gave me, um, obviously, a bit of opposition to, to work with. Um, then, um, the next, okay, there was a bunch of things that happened here. So the cartels rallied, uh, all over the place, placing, um, bases, uh, and, uh, and gorillas and shipments. So again, I'll just scroll down so you can see, I mean, the, the, you got to give it to the cartels. They don't have a lot of resources. They're minus 35 in the wind conditions, but man, they are building up some infrastructure. It's going to be really tough for the government to take those guys out consistently, um, there's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot to deal with there. And because the, the cartels, once, once they get to a certain point, they can just rally their guys back underground every time they're swept and the government can't keep sweeping them all the time. They've got other things they got to do. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a very good, uh, setup for the, the cartels player, you know, that they, they know what they're, uh, what they're doing. So, so, uh, anyway, so the next card up is, uh, uh, Cano Limon, Limon, and uh, that uh, essentially the um, <laughs> the government does uh, uh, civic action, and uh, I don't know why they didn't take the resources here, but um, whatever. So they they took the uh, um, the uh, civic action to remove a terror in um, in uh, Santander, and uh, they used airlift to lift. Um, eight troops from Santander, <laughs> so to go into into Huila. So, kind of an odd move. I I would have taken the the uh, the resources myself, but um, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I guess that's up to them. Maybe there was a deal with the AUC to take it, um, but uh, no, the AUC just passes. 
Um, the next up is Soldados uh, Campesinos. And I really, again, apologize for my pronunciation. I know I'm butchering this. So um, anyway, the, uh, the AUC took the shaded event to replace one police with one available AUC guerrilla. Now, this was actually kind of a, a sneaky smart move because <clears throat> there were police in, say, Meta East and uh, in, um, I think, uh, Arauca as well. Um, it sets up, a, you know, the AUC to have, be in position for assassination. And those single guerrillas can be really tough because the FARC can't, I mean, you can attack them, I guess, and assassinate one of them, but they take a lot of effort to get them out of there. And in some cases, like in Meta East, they may just be able to rally right back. So um, to uh, to get remove them in um, Meta East and in uh, um, Huila and in uh, Santander, and so forth. Uh, sorry, I thought they placed in Arauca, but it was Santander, Huila, and Meta East. That just puts them in a good position. You know, just that silent killer just waiting to strike. And that can be very, um, very powerful um, when it comes to, a, you know, especially if you can get back-to-back -back kind of special activities and you can assassinate a lot. Uh, you can really take the FARC down uh, in a big way or, or any other faction for that matter. So uh, and that was followed by um, my massive rally um, where I rallied everywhere, placing bases um, and extorting. I'll zoom in again just so you can see um, the, <clears throat> the bases uh, and so forth are down now. I mean, obviously, a lot of them are vulnerable to uh, being assassinated. But uh, and I've got 21 resources, so I'm in pretty good shape that way. Um, so we got a lot of guerrillas down and, uh, and, uh, this allowed us to, um, be in, again, just setting up in position to get more bases down or sorry, to get more, um, troops down. Um, I've got all my bases in place. So it's really just a matter of, uh, <clears throat> you know, waiting it out until the next prop card. Essentially I'm at plus two, uh, on the victory, uh, conditions. So, um, we'll just have to see how this plays out, but, um, this game was a, was a bit frustrating in that I was always seemed to be right on the brink of winning and they're just the prop card just never came up when I needed it. <laughs> anyway, Airbridge is up next for the cartels. They take the shaded event and place a cartels base into each uh, of three departments with no cartels pieces. Um, <clears throat> again, a bit, it's a bit of a risk in that it's open to eradication. Um, however, the reality is that in many cases, it's just going to be too much for the government to handle all at once. So um, the the cartels are up to 10 bases now. They're definitely becoming a threat, as they always do. They are a, a slow burn, but man, when they get going, look out. Uh, government passed because they had no choice. Um, Hugo Chavez, uh, this was, again, I didn't have any bases to play, so I just did uh, terror and uh, just made sure to... Uh, hit all the spaces, Meta East, for example, um, Huila, I, you know, take down that uh, support, uh, Santander as well, get that to active opposition, put to my own, put myself six over uh, the victory conditions, uh, again, leaving myself in a good spot. Uh, the, the next event <clears throat> doesn't really bother me all that much, uh, removing three insurgent pieces next to Ecuador. I mean, I suppose I could lose a, a few uh, gorillas over it, but I'm not going to be too stressed. So that was an easy choice for me. Um, so, um, I was happy to take that and then limit the AUC to a rally in, uh, in Huila, I guess getting a base down before it's too late <laughs> in, uh, in Huila. And then, um, <clears throat> the next, uh, card, um, on the next card, the cartels rallied and again, trading in their bases for resources. So that's, uh, um, I guess what they're, they're doing what they what they have to do uh, to get enough resources to keep going. Um, and um, anyway, they, they rallied uh, kind of all over the place again um, to get in position to, again, do terror and, and knock me down. So the cartels were really the ones if, if even though bribe is not as much of a threat, given their level of income, um, they are just getting in all the spots where I don't want them to be. And certainly where the government doesn't want them to be either. Um, they're, they've got a, a decent infrastructure that they're setting up. And so 
Uh, trading in those bases in the jungle is probably a great idea, actually, because, again, they leave themselves open to eradication there. And so it's just uh, free money. Um, then the government did a, a limited sweep uh, again in uh, in uh, Huila to um, activate my uh, FARC guerrillas there. Um, not sure what the government could have done other than that. They're kind of limited in their uh, in their options. Um, now, this left them open, though, to an interesting event. This is an event in Madrid Donors. Uh, no sweep or assault in departments until next propaganda. And I thought, oh my gosh, if I can take that one, that would be amazing. We'll see what the AUC does. Uh, the AUC just passed. So I'm like, oh man, okay. Well, I thought about it. I mean, it would be <clears throat> it'd be great to, I love that event because um, that event, Madrid donors, uh, basically really limits the government on their sweep and assault. Um and typically I take that event because it, it makes the departments more or less safe to just do what you want to do, even though it is a democratic event and it doesn't benefit just the FARC, it benefits everyone. Um, but I figured in the end that the, that the uh, governments with their limited resources weren't going to be able to do a lot of sweeping and assaulting anyway. So <clears throat> it didn't really factor in. Uh, to the to the situation, so I thought, well, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna st start marching around and sort of set up. Um, <laughs> well, actually, I'll I'll say I, I I spotted an opportunity, and the Bogota only had a, a police and a troop in it. So I thought, well, hey, let's march into um, Bogota, and so I did that. I also went on a couple of uh, LOCs as, as well, um, and I did some extortion, but. FARC control of Bogota when the government has one resource to its name. I'm, I thought that was too good an opportunity to pass up. And uh, especially, uh, I just thought it, mainly it would be fun. I figured, well, I'm in kind of control of this game here. Um, this will be kind of fun to do. So why not? And that caused obviously a whole bunch of alarm bells. But uh, anyway, the AUC took the shaded event to place a guerrilla base in any department. And uh, of course, uh, placed it in... Uh, uh, Guaviare, which is where I happen to uh, to be. I kind of count that as my territory, but um, placed a base there, um, as you might have expected. And the cartels just passed. Um, bringing up Tres uh, Esquina, Esquinas. And um, in this case, the, uh, the government used the event to place uh, a base <laughs> back in uh, Santander. And, uh, you know, and uh, placed uh, uh, three troops as well. So um, anyways, I thought that was kind of funny because I, I don't see the Santander base as being that critical um, whenever I've played the government. I mean, it's nice to have. It's useful, but I don't know if it's, it's something I would sacrifice uh, my game for or anything like that. Anyway, so uh, the, the um, on the uh, next uh, card there. Uh, the oh sorry yes they passed and then so yeah the cartels uh, passed and then uh, I had the opportunity of a um, rally um, and extort so once again rallying um, in um, all these spots getting all my army down now um, in uh, uh, various uh, spots at Auca and Nariño and stuff you know basically just to make sure that my uh, spaces, my bases were all protected. And, uh, so, and I did some extortion as well, but anyway, that was, uh, now I've got all my forces down. There's nothing else I need to do on that front. So, uh, we're just going to, um, hang on hopefully for the win here. Now the ELN, um, is up next again, not, um, I think it should be a more powerful event than it actually is, but uh, remove all FARC uh, pieces from one mountain. That, I, that's recoverable. I can deal with that um, there. And uh, oh, I'm just trying to see. There's something I think that... Oh, no, I marched away from Huila. That's what I did there uh, because... Uh, well, I, I rallied away because I, I figured Huila was a bit of a lost cause. Um, the troops were there. They were going to probably attack me. And I thought, well, let's scatter and build the base elsewhere. It, it'll be easily workable to, uh, to do that. Um, so let's uh, see. So the next card up is Cocaine Labs. Uh, cartels, of course, use that for uh, terror in Antioquia, Santander, 
um, and Meta West and in Choco, they bribe away a base. And this is where <laughs> the cartels are really doing the heavy lifting. If it wasn't for them, um, the, the, the other two uh, sides would be pretty lost, I think. But in this case, the cartels are doing all the heavy lifting um, to make sure that they bring me back down to, uh, um, you know, below. Now, I'm actually at zero right now, uh, but uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, so next brought up the prop card, <laughs> interestingly. Um, so the, um, I don't know if it skipped, it skipped forward a little bit. So the ELN, I don't know why it's skipping so far ahead. Okay, I'll rewind here. So the ELN uh, uh, event, I, I did a rally, placed a base in uh, Nariño, uh, and I placed a base in Huila. So um, I was able to, uh, to get a couple of bases down um, here. And uh, so Cesar in the north, Nariño in the, uh, in the south, that, that jungle there. And the government passed because, again, they had no choice. So um, there's Nariño and uh, so forth. So I got back up over the line again. And then prop card comes up. And guess who is waiting to do an assassination thing? The government took the, the first division event, um, which, again, it, this, the game just kind of skipped past here. But the... The civic, they, they took the, uh, the, the uh, capability. So the uh, civic action requires government control on any cubes. That's actually a really good event as well. I like that one. Um, <clears throat> and then the AUC terrorized me in Meta East, Meta West, Antioquia, Arauca, <laughs> assassinated three bases and uh, did terror all over the place um, at massive expense but uh, ended up uh, bringing me down to negative 11 and interestingly bringing the FARC to zero again, just about winning. If I hadn't gotten my last base down, I don't know where I'd be. So anyway, very interesting that way. So we, we arrived at the prop card and the government was at negative 10, the FARC was at negative 11, the AUC is at zero and the cartels at negative 38. Um, <clears throat> the sabotage phase... Uh, is coming up next, and the um, uh, the uh, the sabotage phase. I have a, a couple of uh, gorillas on the uh, on the uh, LOCs. Just in a, I, it's, I'd done it as an afterthought, but uh, anyway, it uh, allowed me to to sabotage some spots. And um, I don't know, the game let me sabotage in a couple of spots. I didn't think I'd be able to, but. Uh, Anyway, um, that's might have been a, a bug in the uh, in the code, but uh, anyway, the government ended up with twenty two resources. Not not great for them um, by any stretch. Um, Fark gets six, which is okay. AUC gets six, which is great, and cartels get twenty four. Now this is where the cartels become a little more of a uh, of a factor. Um, next up, we have the civic action. Oh, sorry, the drug profits, sorry, the cartels trade in four shipments for another 24 resources. So now they are in great shape. To be at this stage of the second prop card, they are in really, really good shape. So the um, the government basically focuses on Santander, getting that to active support at, again, tremendous expense, uh, and gets uh, uh, Huila um, as well to... Um, to uh, active uh, support um, and ends up with five resources going into this. I just <laughs> I just think like, oh my gosh, this is such a risky way to play because with the government being so weak and incapable, it's really the insurgents are left to run wild. And uh, so anyway, um, so my agitation um, where I could um, actually was very interesting because um, I actually had the opportunity, and it, it's too bad I can't uh, do this gradually to show you, but because I had control of Bogota, I spent the resources, four resources to flip Bogota to, uh, to, my, uh, to my side, to active opposition. So, wow, that's a big swing. I think I went from negative uh, 11 to plus 13 in a single agitation round. Uh, so, uh, of course, we... We play, you know, did other uh, places like Meta East, Arauca, and uh, so forth. You know, 
uh, all over the place, wherever I could, flipping it to um, active opposition where it made sense. It was at tremendous expense. I only have, I have no resources going in uh, to this. And that may have been a mistake in retrospect. Uh, but um, I really did, I wanted to kind of overwhelm the, uh, you know, the opposition with, um, <laughs> with the, the situation that was in hand here. And so <clears throat> I ended up, uh, you know, basically <laughs> flipping the entire uh, or good portion of Colombia to the opposition. Now, uh, that uh, then led to Uribe being uh, elected pr el presidente. And uh, so we move on to the next, uh, <laughs> the next um, uh, pre president who removes the FARC zone. And uh, then we move on to the, the redeploy phase and the um, elite backing. So the, the rally then um, happens in Antioquia. You can see they're building up. That's always a nice haven for the AUC. And then we move on to the redeploy phase. And the redeploy phase uh, essentially has uh, the government retreating out of uh, Huila. And um, they, they all retreat to Santander and they don't move any troops around. So Here's the situation going into the third campaign uh, of Andean Abyss. Uh, wow, <laughs> the FARC are in control of Bogota. The cartels are everywhere. The government is more or less broke, and uh, the AUC is surprisingly powerful. They're at they're just at at the victory condition right now. So this game could go either way. And I'm gonna just take a, a pause here because um, I know I've been rambling for a little while. And I'll bring a part two to you very soon uh, in this crazy game of Andean Abyss. And we'll see you here next time on Legendary Tactics.